Hey guys, it's Hafei, I'm back again. This is going to be my finale for my project polish for 2017. I'm aware of the fact that there is a whole month to go before the end of the year. Well, it's uh, December 5th when I'm filming this. It's probably not going to go up for like a week or something. However, um, I am calling this project quits for now. I'm actually doing all of my inventory and getting myself ready to start new projects at the start of next year. So I'm basically finishing off all of my other projects. The only project I am not calling quits to is my 12 Doctors of Christmas one, which finishes on Christmas Day. So, uh, yeah. So this is the um, the one that I started on my own, which is all mini stuff. Um, I have finished a few nail polishes. So that's always good when you can actually say you finished nail polishes. <laughs> um, so I have my little wheelie thing here. I don't think I've marked all the ones that I've actually counted as finished. But uh, yeah, we will we will go through them. So the ones that I have put this is my container of ones that are finished up. So the first one is probably one of the more recent ones I finished. This is the Ulta 3 uh, Lily White nail polish. I literally can't really get any more out of it. There's some white around the outside, but I've tried putting thinner in it. And yeah, this one is done. So it's just a basic white. Um, I also finished the, well, sort of finished, I used um, this uh, Fantasy Fire from Max Factor to add to some other nail polishes and I made a Franken polish with it, but this polish no longer exists. Um, that one was this one here over um, a black. Um, the two... Mm, yeah, now lacquer is actually the three because this this one that I didn't really use very much, which I brought in later in the project, throwing them all out. Um, there's a little bit left. There's some left in this one, but the actual nail polish itself is just not like super duper thick. And yeah, I've got so much nail polish. It's not really worth mucking around with nail polishes that aren't performing the way that I want them to. So we have When Clouds Dream, Wild Lavender, and Royal Velvet. Um, so those are the two lighter ones. And that is Royal Velvet there. Just mark those two so I know what I'm doing. Um, this one was finished in a prior update. This is Icing Sugar from Maybelline Mini Colorama. I really like these polishes. They're really, really good. Um, I wish you could still get them easily. Um, I think you can only get them places like Amazon and eBay these days. Um, another one that's in the same vein uh, is the Dark Chocolate Maybelline Cali Mini Colorama. This one I have now finished up. I can't get any more out of it without a big, big struggle. The Neon It's Pink from W7. Um, it looks like there's still some in there. It's just impossible to get it out. I just have like a really short little brush and there wouldn't even be enough in there for me to do a full manicure probably. Again, it's another one that it was just starting to be a struggle and it's not you know, pretty long nails and it was taking like three dips in just to do one nail. It's just not... I'm not that about that life. Um, then we have the Lemonade from Orly. I actually really like this yellow. I kind of miss it. It looks a lot paler in the bottle than it actually dries. It actually dries quite a bit darker. Um, There's another one that I've... It's probably a little bit in there, but not enough for a manicure. Um, we have also from Orly Pink Waterfall, which is one of my favourite pinks. Kind of a little sad, but um, yeah, it's it's done. There's no manicures in there. And the first one that I finished is this one from L'Oreal. This is 
eons old. Uh, this is number 203, I believe, from the LA Collection Crystals. So that one is gone. Um, so I have actually used up 11 polishes this year. Yes, they're all mini ones, but I did have a lot of them in the project. So I'll just go through the ones that I have not finished up. The Emerald Nail Polish from uh, Natio. We are now down here. So I started up there, now down here. And as I said to you guys before, I tend to only use um, a fairly small amount because I only paint four fingers at a time. As you can see, they have a completely different... Um, and often I only paint one finger in a colour. Uh, this one is Wonder Violet from the Mini Colorama. It has not really moved. I don't think I used this one, but I love this nail polish. Um, sorry, that is Emerald from Natio. And that is Wonder Violet. Um, we have Fruit Juice from Mini Colorama, which is the red one. I love this thing. Literally used like half of this this year, which I think is pretty good actually. Um, it doesn't look too much different, even though that is actually one of the polishes I've been used. I might actually use it a bit more over um, Christmas. Yeah, right. Um, that is that one right there. We have Tarte from Mini Colorama. I don't think I've reached for this one. Um, I've also got a lot of new polish recently which I've been wearing, like all of November I was wearing basically new polish, so a lot of these, and I didn't really do any nail art, so a lot of these didn't get any attention, that one is Tarte right there, um, Teal Unreal from Orly, uh, yeah it doesn't look any different, I know I used it a couple of times so it might be a little bit lower but it doesn't look too much different. That is this one here. Um, VIP from Orly. don't think I've actually used this one either, or I might have only used it once. Um, it's over halfway used now. So that one is that one there. Uh, where is it? Electric Blue from Mini Colorama. This is getting down near the bottom. Um, the line has moved a little bit from last time, but not enough to really be able to mark it. Um, again, a polish I really, really love. That is that one right there. Uh, Cactus Green from Max Factor. It's now down there. It was right at the top when I started. It's not my favourite green. Um, that is that one right there. Um, and I think this is the last one. Um, Nails Ink, the South Bank. This is getting to the point it's starting to get a little bit more uh, difficult to use, but it still seems to be going okay. Just a basic light. Uh, grey colour. I can't really tell where it is in the bottle, unfortunately. Um, and that is that one right there. I'm pretty sure that I have covered all of the ones that were in this project. So that is the finale for my Project Polish Mini Edition. I'm actually pretty happy. I've used up, as I said, like what, 11, and I've got 9 left that I started with, so I've used more than half of the ones that ended up in this project, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. Um, I mean, I'm sure some people could have got a lot more progress than I did. Um, it's not been the easiest year in a lot of ways, and so I've had extended periods of time where I haven't really been doing my nails very much. Um, 
and I'm only really just now starting to get back into it, but I'm finding that I'm reaching more for my new polishes rather than my minis. So um, all of these ones that I haven't finished will just go back into the collection and they're sure to get pulled out occasionally. I haven't decided what I'm doing next year. I think I probably won't do a separate project polish. I will probably just um, include nail polishes in the other projects I'm doing because I'm doing at least two full year, pro I think three full year products uh, projects um, and a couple of those have space for nail polishes in them so that is probably what I will actually do. Um, yeah, so that is it for this particular video. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there, click the bell if you want to get notifications, leave me a thumbs up if you like project pan type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!